The results of a negligible attitude towards nature are becoming more and more obvious and the importance of addressing environmental problems today is undeniable. Each of us needs to be aware of this situation and to make a contribution to preserving our common home. To remind us all of our duty to future generations, each year the 5th of June is celebrated globally as the World Environment Day. Each year the UN office in Uzbekistan in cooperation with the UNDP and the State Committee of the Republic of Uzbekistan on the Nature Protection recognizes this event through the Echo Week program. Echo Week 2014's official opening featured welcome speeches by the chairperson of the State Committee of the Republic of Uzbekistan for Nature Protection, Bakhtiar Abdul Samatov, the UN Resident Coordinator in Uzbekistan, Stefan Prisna, and Deputy Speaker and Chairman of the Committee on Ecology and Environment of the Legislative Chamber of the Oli Majlis of Uzbekistan, Bari Ali Khanov. The opening speakers highlighted the importance of the joint efforts of public authorities, scientists and experts in the ecology field, as well as the work of members of the public to ensure our country's environmental sustainability and to help mitigate climate change. Echo Week 2014 was dedicated to the Year of the Healthy Child and therefore all Echo Week events across the country involve children and youth. Echo Week's first event in 2014 is the youth conference People, Society, Environment held at the Academic Lyceum of the Tashkent Institute of Chemical Technologies. Also that day, the seminar training program, Nature Conservation, Everyone's Duty, was undertaken at Agri-Economic College of the Torakorgon district of the Namangan region. The GM Powertrain Uzbekistan joint venture company, which manufactures spare auto parts, is a prominent national example of how a successful company can take an environmentally friendly approach to its work. It was subsequently featured during the second day of Echo Week 2014 during a well attended media tour. At its manufacturing premises located in the Zangyota district of the Tashkent region, the company has installed a range of technology designed to limit its impact on the environment. These technologies limit the amount of total waste expelled by the facility including dust and gases emitted into the atmosphere and industrial wastewater that threatens the quality of drinking water. The second day of the Echo Week 2014 also saw the conducting of a scientific practical conference, Improvement of the Legal Framework of Environmental Protection in the Republic of Uzbekistan, held at the Ministry of Justice of the Republic. The conference was attended by representatives of government ministries, NGOs, academia and the mass media. It included the reading of reports regarding the problems faced in ensuring the environmental sustainability of agriculture and those regarding the establishment of means to monitor environmental pollution. Other topics addressed were the need for a code for tracking the use of groundwater and maintaining awareness of other important issues, a legal framework which is yet to be developed and improved on in the new future. Hundreds of legal documents have already been established in the lead up to the code's establishment. These include 20 laws regarding environmental safety, environmental protection and the appropriate use of natural resources. In the early morning in Karshi, a large group of teachers and students from the Karshi Engineering Economic Institute KIEI, arrived at the local ecological park to help clean and maintain its territory. The park had been created by the Protecting the Environment and Ecology Department of the Institute and a resource and information centre established by the UNDP Climate Risk Management Project. Tashkent hosted the second Echo Week media tour, whose participants visited the Neosun Light joint venture 
one of Uzbekistan's leading enterprises in the production of energy-saving fluorescent lamps. In workshop, the media tour participants learned about how the fluorescent lamps are manufactured by leading staff. These lamps are an environmentally friendly product, but there are problems facing their use. Both fluorescent and compact fluorescent lamps help to save energy by up to 40% when compared to conventional lamps. However, the lamps can be dangerous when broken or discarded as they contain mercury, and so they require careful disposal. On the next day, participants at the conference The Impact of Climate Change on Water Resources and Arid Zone Ecosystems held at the Karshi Engineering Economic Institute travelled to Shakrisabs for a tour of historical sites. The tour also visited sites on the Aksu River, where the Gisarak Reservoir and hydroelectric power stations have helped improve water availability and irrigation in the Kashkadaria region. Also in Chakri Sabs, school number 102 and concluded a competition for young environmentalists on the theme Water Conservation in a Changing Climate. The participating students took part in a quiz and an exhibition and improved water conservation in the school's garden and greenhouse. Meanwhile, the third Echo Week media tour was held in the Bahmal district of Jizak region, attended by media representatives and employees from the State Committee of the Republic of Uzbekistan. The tour participants visited farms using modern technology and drip irrigation, both of which are gaining popularity in Uzbekistan. A traditional festival was held at Tashkent's Ghafur Ghulam Park, with the attendance of students from the Barkamol Avlot Urban Centre of Creativity. Attending children were treated to performances by the children's music groups Sivinj, Marjan and Runcha. The participating children also saw an exhibition of works produced at Barkamol Avlot including embroidery and knitting, paintings and chalk pavement drawings, demonstrating children's enthusiasm for making the world a greener place. A celebration of school number 10 in the Samarkand region also allowed children to show both their creativity and their dedication to protecting the environment. The children painted ceramic tiles for the school's new wash stand. A Republican competition, Young Rescuer, was held within the Echo Week with participation of 128 students. The winners of competition were awarded with prizes. In addition, the Tashkent radio station conducted a quiz on energy conservation, winners of which were also awarded with prizes. The video documentary brought to you by the UN Information Office, Tashkent.